So in this film we're going to be looking at double processing an image, a raw file, processed twice, blended together to give a completely unique kind of uh, individual hands-on effect uh, going through it. So this raw file has been processed and opened up within Photoshop. Uh, it's still not saved, it's just been processed through and we've kind of uh, exposed it just for the kind of the coat effect but we can see that the head is burnt out a little bit on the exposure here even though it would print without any trouble. I want to bring a little bit more of a dramatic effect to the image. So let's go back into uh, RAW. Let's open it up again. Obviously it goes through the RAW processing window once more. Let's bring the exposure right the way down for a quite a kind of hollow point um, and let's just bring the shadow area down as well so we're not as much information including the highlight area on the face as well okay so let's open that up again so remember this is the raw file it's already been open once we haven't processed it to a jpeg so this is in the same workflow as it were open the image now and base, basically the same file will open up in a new win window with the new adjustments with it. And basically all I need to do now, if I just hit uh, V for move, I'm just going to drag this image onto the other photograph, press the shift key and then let go. The shift key makes sure that it aligns itself fully with the, um, uh, the document below as it were. So now you can see, obviously we can kind of change the opacity down a little bit more kind of reveal, but as well, I can start to add a mask within here. So BDX, just to actually start to actually paint the image. Now, why would I want to do this? Uh, basically it's allowing me to, um, kind of give a, a, a uniqueness to the image instead of a, a, a kind of a normal, what is Photoshop kind of bland. So in other words, I want to kind of paint the effect on instead of just actually applying it to the whole look and feel. So as I said, with the uh, BDX, so that's brush default and then X to put black on top, small brush here. Let's change the opacity down just a little bit to about 40%. And then we'll just start to actually just bring little de uh, details up by just painting it in. Okay, and you can see from the mask on the side here where I'm kind of stroking the uh, paintbrush. And I'm just working with a mouse as well here, so I'm not working with a pen and tab tablet, uh, which is my usual preference. Um, but I'm just kind of bringing it more alive. And obviously the more I paint in an, an area, the more it comes alive anyway. The benefit I've got, of course, if I just press the X and I put the white back on top, if I've basically made too much brightness on his face, I can just kind of deepen that down back more. Let's just um, really dark, darken that head down. And if I want to see the difference, if I just press the shift key and click on the mask, that switches it on and off. So you can see what we've done is almost create shafts of light kind of coming through. So in the same way, if I really made the um, brush much small, smaller now, change the opacity back down to that 40, pressing the numeric 4, and now stripe it. It'll just give us that kind of look and feel as we're coming through. So what we've got there is double process in the same file twice. Uh, of course, you can do it as many times as you want. Let's do it again. So let's just double click it again. This time we'll turn it into a funky effect. If I haven't got a preset on here, so well, I've got the, um, car uh, the cartoon. So let's just go and just change that exposure down just a little bit. There we go. We'll open that again. And once more, once it's open, I'll just drag it onto the other document. I forgot which document we're on now. There we go press the shift as I do it and now we can see the effect coming through 
so you can see it's really kind of added a real grittiness to the whole uh, the overall image uh, if we look at the dissolve it's not doing anything with that Dar a dark in the image makes it pretty cool let's change the opacity down a little bit more and it's just brought its own kind of uh, grit and con a contrast into the image there if I feel that the red background is just a little bit too hot let's just um, paint away some of that effect in here and let's just add in a saturation layer let's just go into saturation down more and let's just add in a little bit of a mask again so it's only taking out the real color of the background instead of everything actually off the face itself and things really so what we've done is basically uh, work quite smart with a raw file so we're not degrading anything as we're going so in other words this is the one we opened up to begin with then we went back into the raw we made it much darker we loaded that one on top uh, and remember the way that it's kind of blended together we're at 87 percent there we can just bring that back up a touch then we brought in that next image into here to actually give us that kind of real strong look and of course then we added in the desaturation so again don't be afraid to go back to the same raw file and start bringing the different elements in because again that's the whole skill within Photoshop is applying creative technique instead of just a standardized conveyor belt technique every time you touch Photoshop